LSD, the beginning of something wonderful. The beginning of something wonderful sounds more like the beginning of the end. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and fix this sign immediately because y'all out here false advertising. People are gonna be big mad when they leave the mall and they not like. The Jewish Japanese Sex and Cookbook and How to Raise Wolves. See, now I know why library dates are lit. This is everything you need all combined in one book. I need to know what section of the library is this because the books next to it don't make that much sense either. Can you imagine writing a paper on this book? You are guaranteed an F. The teacher are gonna mark up your paper with all this red ink talking about you losing focus, fam. Nah, this is the focus. Hannah Montana. No. They don't even say Hannah Montana. It's Hannah Montana. I would really like to know where these backpack companies are. You got Hannah Montana and Harry Potter. If you don't want your kids to get bullied, check their backpacks. Boneless pork rectums. So somebody out here eating a box of pig booty holes by the dozen. And not only that, they inverted. I don't even know rectums had bones. And this must be a hot commodity if they selling them in bulk. Can you imagine talking to somebody with pig booty on their breath? Girl, that's a booty hole. Butt flavor. In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of booty stuff in this episode. No more butterscotch. In 2018, we doing butt flavor. Because if your girl asks me how many lips does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, I'm gonna be like, let's find out. One, two, three, three. We're putting cum inside M&Ms. All right, y'all, so we just gonna cancel M&Ms for the rest of life. If you see your girl eating M&Ms, she cheating. See, now right here, we have her eating a handful of M&Ms, not just one at a time. Are you sure you wanna confront her? Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's just get it over with. Homicide victims rarely talk to police. Whoever wrote this newspaper article don't know the definition of homicide because unless they coming back as Casper the Friendly Ghost, they ain't talking. Hey man, this whole silence room thing ain't gonna work. Unless you want us to solve your murder case, I need you to speak up. Bruh. Caution, water on road during rain. This might seem like a dumb sign to you, but this needs to be all over Southern California because y'all don't know how to act when it rains. Somebody could spit on the highway and this is how people from California would drive. Help me, help me. Wow, it's a deal. Wooden puzzles, one pound or two for three pounds. This store is really out here finessing folks for wooden puzzles. But if you get two of them joints, I'm gonna hook it up, fam. I got you. <laughs> free salmonella, free E. coli. I'm sure what they mean is free of salmonella and free of E. coli, but if you try to sell these to me, I'm hit you with eggs in self-defense. Yeah. Our great anal journeys. How are people still not realizing that sticker placement on items are crucial? Somebody's grandma out here can't even stand up anymore because of these booty adventures. Her husband in the bat with the cane like, <laughs> that's me, baby. This is the second or third doll where I tried to see y'all use it as home decor. No. And y'all had the nerve to give this thing feet too. Let me catch this thing anywhere near my house. <laughs> Hot dogs and AIDS, 250. We just gonna skip the ketchup and mustard. Just top it off with AIDS. <laughs> Notice, the patio is currently not open because it is closed. This sign is the equivalent of when you question your mom and she has no valid reason or answer and she just goes, because I said so. Child shredded meat, delicious classic. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not down for a kid meat smoothie. Talking about a delicious classic like y'all been eating kids for a minute. Faith, as small as a mustard seed. So this picture looks normal now, but half the picture is cut off on the advertisement, so when you look at it, it looks more like this. Bruh. The way my mind works, I thought this was booty cheeks squeezing fresh doo-doo crumbs out. Now, I was looking at this picture and all I saw was a Nestle ice cream ad. But then I took a closer look at the fake Owen Wilson and I was like, The f*** is that? If you ever eat a popsicle like this, I'm calling the authorities immediately because you gotta be a serial killer. The SWAT team gonna bust into your house and see you holding an ice cream bar like that and they gonna be like, we don't negotiate with terrorists and then they gonna shoot first and ask questions later. My grandma is a thought. I don't think this is the greatest thing to give to a baby or call your grandma. If you even attempt to give this to your kid, this is how every grandma gonna react. Hey, look what I'm about to give little Timmy. I hope the f you do. You'll be a dead son of a bitch, I tell you that. 